to just to go back to the wonderful Empress Theatre, the last show ever played there as a theatre in 1955 was headlined by Max Miller. Max Miller. Now look, in the book, there's a character called Gorgeous George, who's yeah, a musical artist, Brighton Pier, and she? he has quite filthy jokes. He's got a tattoo of the world. Yeah, I don't think Max Miller had tattoos, but no. he was well known for his pretty filthy act. Yeah. And they first see him in Brighton, yeah. and Max Miller is from Brighton. There's a statue to Max Miller in Brighton. Very good. So he's very much a Brighton man. But then he's up here, playing regularly at that, at that theatre. Um, at the Empress. Yeah, yeah. So the Empress was a musical. It says he variety. played the last music there, and then it said the last pantomime there yeah. was uh, Aladdin starring Al McCogan. <laughs> wow. And I had another little story, which was that uh, Benny Hill got his broke into show business in that theatre. Really? Yeah. He, well, he didn't perform there. Apparently, I don't know where he's from, but he came to London deciding that he wanted to work in the theatre. Yeah. And he, for some reason, he ended up knocking on the door of the manager there. Well, this so, would have been Ground Zero, wouldn't it? I, I mean, this in the West End. I, I suppose so. You come here, this is showbiz land, right? Well, the West End would have been posh stuff, and then you'd come around here if you wanted to do, yeah. you know, musical stuff. Yeah, so he knocked on the door said have you got any job I'll do anything I just want to get into show business yeah. manager said no I haven't got anything but tomorrow if you go up to the uh, Leicester Square or whatever you can ask for my mate and he might have a job for you and uh, did you run up in a high speed uh, <laughs> he didn't do you know what he did weirdly he went south from here because he claims that he slept the night on Streatham Common because he didn't have any money which is nowhere near here yeah, he, <laughs> he went all the way down to Stratton Common. Was he, was he chasing a bunch of lovelies in underwear? <laughs> and then, but the next day, he went up the, up up to town and he got a job. Wow. In show business. So Brixton turned its back on him, so he went west. Yeah. Well, but I the spirit of him is alive in Stratton Common. the right idea, don't you? Oh. <laughs>